is Taipei City's recycling branch in Gongguan District, and in May of this year, a new standard for separating recyclables began. In total, there are 27 categories, with nine of them dedicated to plastic products. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not counting numbers. I'm reciting the resin identification code for plastic items. Many of our plastic containers, including trays and plastic packaging, look very similar. No, let me inform you. In Taiwan, we have seven different categories of plastic, with PET being only one of them. With this complicated system, do you always know which category your plastic is? This Mobius loop forming a triangle with a number inside is the resin identification code established by the Society of the Plastic Industry in 1988. <laughs> The first type is PET, which is most of our beverage bottles. On the bottom, there will be this symbol with the dot. The second category is HDPE, and that's mostly milk bottles or like washing detergents. The symbol at the bottom has a line. There is also number three and number four. Five is the most common seen in beverage cups, polypropylene while six is polystyrene and seven is other. There is also a non-recyclables bioplastic category called polylactide, PLA. Taiwan is among the top three countries in the world with the best recycling efforts, but plastic recycling is still one of the easiest to be confused about. We see these are beverage containers which can be made up of PP, PET, or PLA. We don't see that much of PET kind because most are made into plastic bottles. Some companies will want to cut costs and have the body of the cup made out of PLA, while the lid is PET. This is why it's difficult for people to differentiate. Take this too. If you put the lid on, it looks exactly the same, except on the left is all PLA, while the other is PLA plus PET. With PLA being more costly, some companies will only use it partially. Thus, it can confuse people, and the plastics can easily just be mixed together. On top of which, the prices for selling plastic have dropped to one NT dollar for one kilogram, making those who collect plastic to sell not willing to put in the effort to sort it all out. The seller you can see, she sold her plastic for 74 NTD. Last month, the same amount might have paid her 100 NTD. In the future, buying prices for PET bottles will continue to decrease. And maybe next month, she might only be able to get 50 NTD for the same amount she sold today. If the people don't sort it correctly when recyclables arrive at the recycling facility, a machine can help to determine. The bottles go to our machine with the NIR, near infrared line, which helps to sort the different plastic categories. When it gets to our processing plant, we shred it and do a water separation to help us select the plastic we need. As different materials sink and float according to their weight, PP and PE both float in water. NIR technology can help sort plastics, but machines are still not perfect. Thus, for those plastic reclaiming companies, compounded plastics are treated as garbage. PET, now PVC. For instance, PET, PVC and PLA are all similar when sorted by the NIR technology. So if a batch of PET has PLA or PVC mixed in it, no one would want it. In 1995, to promote recycling, the government began to push for PLA items. However, the plastic property of PLA means it will break down into plastic resin in the natural environment but not disappear. It also needs a professional bearing process to start the degradation. However, Taiwan's only processing plant for PLA closed down. 
So now all PLA items are just burned at the incinerator. Taiwan's EPA needs to think of a way to legally require a more clear way for resin ID to be visible, or to simplify the plastic categories into just using one. With so much plastic products out there and the possible confusion of what's recyclable and what's not, perhaps it's not only important to reduce the use of plastics and clear identification of the plastic items, but the real solution is to have only one type of plastic category.